Welcome back guys. It's been a while since I put a video out, so I figured I'd get this quick update together for you. Show you what I've been up to. We bought an experimental aircraft. Thing is, it hadn't been flown in years. Follow along as we transform our Sonex from a fixer to a flyer. So I know what you're thinking. With all this stay at home time, why isn't it done? Why isn't it at the airport? Well, simple answer is I'm still working and honestly I feel like I have even less time to work on it than I did before. But that's how it goes sometimes. Now what I did just get done that I'm pretty happy with is the canopy frame. As you know from my overview video, a gust of wind took the canopy and shattered it and in process broke the rear canopy bow. And this is what the new one looks like installed. Now I'm going to be honest, it took a lot longer and it took a lot more work than I thought it would. The bow comes in pre-bent, but it's not exact to what the Sonex needs to be. Luckily one half of my old one was still in proper shape and I was able to match it up to the turtle deck pretty well get good measurements and everything. As you can see I am reusing the standard plans uh, canopy support. But then I also added two of these guys here. Mocked it into place with some painters tape and then made some templates cut them out of some aluminum sheet I had sitting around and eventually riveted them into place. Here's the, here's the other one. I'm hoping you can see this when I do it, but the canopy frame is so much more stable when I go ahead and open it. So, latch it. And you can see, there's not much flexing here. Not having to move this around too much. We go up, and we go down. This hoop's not walking around or anything. In turn, the front's not walking around. It's just, it's a night and day difference adding these supports versus just having the standard support. Well worth the extra work in my opinion. You may be wondering, why did I make a video about doing this job? <laughs> well, you know, sometimes you just want to crank the music up, turn the camera off, and not worry about copyrights on YouTube, and just get to work. And so that's what I did. Now one other thing I did work on was my baggage compartment. As you can see I was using some ABS plastic sheeting because it's really it's easy to form and easy to work with and it's fairly cheap too. This is what I have going right now. It's not completely finished yet, I'm still in the fitting phase. Now what we basically have here is what some Sonics owners call just a hat rack. I already have the oil tank back there and I'm a pretty big guy anyway, so we don't need to be putting a whole lot of weight in there, but we do need at least something. We need at least some kind of space for something. Um, you notice I have, at the moment, I have some pretty large holes for the harnesses to come through, and that's because I plan on flying this from the middle when I'm solo, and just from doing some mock-ups, that large gap at the top is actually where the harnesses come up to uh, when I'm sitting in it. Hopefully that gives a full range of motion, and I'm going to see if there's anything I can do, else I can do with that. Now these other covers here on the turtle deck uh, behind the canopy frame, again ABS sheeting and I wanted some, something simple. It uses the two holes that are already in those pieces from Sonex. Like I said, not quite done with them, but uh, eh, might have a few tricks up my sleeve with what I'm going to do with those. The way the old turtle deck panel that I had for this was it covered up everything. And I really like that with the Sonics, uh, you have all these brackets and all these rivets and everything and just really highlight that. So I wanted something as a cover, but I didn't want to cover up all of this structure here because I, I think it's just really cool. Also, I will have a video coming out about working with ABS sheeting. So be on the lookout for that if you're interested in using this yourself. You can see that I got the new mixture control in, but I have not yet gotten the aero conversions throttle in. Uh, there was a two to three week back order on that one and with all this virus stuff it who knows could take even longer so I'm holding out on that swap until I have both of them. 
winter decided to come back to the northeast so this project is on hold but here is the windscreen and the new canopy once it warms up a bit we'll get into that uh, John Manette seems to really emphasize making sure you do it in a warmed up area with the plastic itself being warmed up to limit your chances of cracking so I can run heat in the garage but I'm gonna use some of that natural heat so we'll wait until then hopefully that's this week or next week we'll, we'll see still haven't replaced the tires yet hopefully I'll get to that this week and I'll put a video out about how to do that if anyone's interested in the meantime between all the big projects I've also just been working on a bunch of little odds and ends and so one cool thing quick my stars and bars came in I still gotta polish it and I am going to paint the turtle deck area but after I do all that those will be going on I have some graphics coming in for the tail too both my end numbers and something to help continue the warbird theme it's really not that much we have to do as the saying goes we're 90 percent done and 90 percent of the way to go it seems but if I get the canopy and windscreen done and get the tires changed out I could take this to the airport and finish everything there so uh, we'll see what everything looks like after we get those jobs done and how all this stay at home stuff plays out and can't wait to get her to the airport until next time thanks for watching